Today on Top 5 Friday, I'm going to give you my top five summer office fragrances. It's Top 5 Friday. <coughs> Excuse me. All hail the scruff, it's your pal, small scruff situation. Please don't kill me, big beard business. Welcome back to J Royal, everyone. I've already released my top five summer blue collar work scents, but I decided to make a video for the white collar watchers as well. Why gotta be white? Not everyone is a contractor like myself. I used to work in an office environment, so I am very familiar with what makes a good office fragrance. So without further ado, let's get right into the list. My number five summer office fragrance, Terre d'Amez, Eau Très Fraîche. It's fresh, not fraiche. <laughs> It takes the original Terre d'Hermes, which is iconic in the fragrance world, and makes it fresher, lighter, less of a rotten orange vibe, and more of a fresh orange vibe. Your notes here, orange, citrus, aquatic notes, and it's great in the office summer environment because it's so natural. It doesn't smell chemically, which makes it an overall more pleasant fragrance. Its projection is also quite moderate, so it won't really offend anyone, and the longevity will last just about a work day. If you've got cursed skin, maybe consider getting a little decant to refresh yourself. Just a great summer fragrance overall, and will work on a warm spring day or a mild autumn day as well. My number five, Terre d'Hermes Eau Très Fraîche. My number four summer office fragrance, Eau Sauvage by Christian Dior. Not Sauvage, guys. I'm not talking about Sauvage. This is Eau Sauvage. This is an oldie but a goodie. It's an old school powerhouse without the powerhouse. So we're not talking about Antaeus or Opium or King Kuros. It's a very standard masculine cologne smell that's been around for a while, but it's been around for a while for good reason, because it is a very pleasant smell and very professional as well. This one does gravitate towards older gentlemen, or at least more sophisticated, mature gentlemen like myself. But if you carry yourself with professionalism, then of course you can rock this as well. This fragrance has tons of flankers. There's the parfum version, there's the leather version, there's the extreme version, but I gravitate towards the original in the summer because it's so full of life and happiness and cool stuff. My number four, Eau Sauvage. Now my number three office summer fragrance is probably number one on a lot of people's lists. Number three is none other than Grey Vetiver by Tom Ford. I have right here the Eau de Toilette version. The Eau de Toilette lends itself more so to summer than the Eau de Parfum. What this one has that the other one doesn't is amped up citrus, iced lemon, grapefruit, other cool citruses, bergamot. <laughs> the vetiver comes in more prominently in the mid and the dry down. Usually Eau de Toilettes don't last as long as Eau de Parfums. They also project more than Eau de Parfums. Projection compared to the EDP, the same. Longevity, a little bit less than the EDP. But again, the scent character is pure, pure summer. More citrus, still professional, very masculine vetiver. One of the cleanest vetivers in my collection and it definitely gets praised for good reason. Check this one out. My number three, Grey Vetiver, EDT. My number two summer office fragrance, CH Men Central Park. This is an interesting one, guys, because you wouldn't necessarily think of this as an office fragrance, but I think in the summer, if you want to impress someone at the office, this is a very, very good choice. Your three listed notes on this fragrance, ginger, cedar, and something else. <laughs> Black cardamom. Now fragrances should be a representation of yourself in a way. So if I'm at the office, and I'm there to just do work, I don't really care about what fragrance I'm wearing. If I'm there to be the best version of myself and to perhaps impress members of the opposite sex. This is an excellent choice, guys. It's very, very good in the summer. It has that greenness, that ginger. The way the notes come together, it almost, to me, it takes CH Men and then just gives it a hint of green Irish tweed, which is a pretty excellent combination, if I do say so myself. CH Men flankers aren't always easy to find, especially Grand Tour, which is actually my favorite flanker. But if you can, get your nose on Central Park. And especially if you're a fan of the original, do it. Do it. Just do it. My number two spot, CH Men Central Park. My number one summer office fragrance, 
Molecule 01 by Eccentric Molecules. In my top five, top five fragrance list video, this topped my office list. This is a fragrance that you can wear in an office that bans fragrances. If your boss comes up to you and says, hey dude, or dudette, no more fragrances, we're banning them. Chemical free zone. You can either quit your job or you can buy a bottle of Molecule 01. This is a fragrance that it's definitely present when you wear it, but it's so subtle and so subdued that you can't pinpoint it. It's not a fragrance that you would go up to one of your frag bros and say, oh dude, Molecule 01. Sick fragrance, dude, sick. This fragrance is extremely fascinating in the sense where it does so little while doing so much. This is definitely going to be your most forgiving fragrance in your collection. It's not something that you have to strategically place all of your pulse points and whatnot. You can just mist yourself continuously and you'll constantly have a very pleasant aura around you. Oh, I can smell it in the air right now. It's just, it's such a pleasant smell. It's very, very bizarre in how it works but you gotta try it for yourself. And be open-minded when you're testing it because upon first sniff, it may not smell like much, but let it do its magic, let your skin heat up with it on, and you'll really, really see why this is getting so much praise in the fragrance community. My number one summer office fragrance, Molecule 01. We made it, guys. We made it to the end of the top five list. Hope you enjoyed my picks. If you work in an office, please let me know in the comments what you rock at work. Maybe it's something that was completely off my radar. Let's have some back and forth banter on fragrance. All of our links to social media are down below. And if you like what you see, then go ahead and click the subscribe button. And just like Big Beard B says, ring the bell if you want. If you don't want to, then don't. Today's goodbye song will be sung in the style of Lil Uzi Vert. I don't really give you guy. If you spray Hermes in my eye. <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs>